For Shayla's story is one of overcoming adversity. Her anxiety seemed to be taking over her life and she found herself in a space where it felt like no matter what happened or how hard she tried, everything was just going wrong and she felt like she could never be normal. It got so bad that Tashayla actually experienced both agoraphobia and social anxiety disorder. She was so scared to go outside and do everyday things like drive to work, go into a shopping centre, even out to restaurants that she looked into life coaching and hypnotherapy sessions to help her overcome her fear of having panic attacks and losing control in public situations. Having support of a therapist, friends and family, Tashayla is living life again. She has changed from being terrorised by panic and anxiety attacks into understanding them and now has replaced the negative inner critic with the voice that urges her to be compassionate and encouraging, even in the face of uncertainty. Now that her fears have subsided and she's overcoming her anxiety disorder, she's in control and a much stronger woman and actually excited to go out and be normal and enjoy her life. When you first contacted me, what was your challenge? It was social anxiety. I think it's agoraphobia. That's my self-diagnosis. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And um, for everyone, actually, it presents itself different. Yeah. Well, when I heard about or read about agoraphobia, it's been like people that are scared of embarrassing themselves. That's what mine is, really. And it's irrational. But yeah, it has been sometimes, like I, I thought I was going to have a heart attack or pass out or throw up, which at Perth, those are usually things the people with agoraphobia would experience as yeah. well. And, it's, and you're right, it's very much a bit of a social challenge for a lot of people because they're worried about what other people think. Yeah. And how am I going to look? What are people going to think mm -hmm. of me? Yeah, so it's very much that social aspect of it. So if I was to ask you, what's the biggest change you've had? Being able to recognise when those thoughts are coming up and me taking control of them instead of their thoughts taking control of me and you know making me do certain things that I don't think that I should necessarily have to be doing. <laughs> I have a lot more compassion for myself <laughs> but the first time I did it I was like oh my god I can't believe you're doing this and the voice was so loud and so constant and then it was like you can just stop at the next stop, stop at the next exit, this that, this, that. and then the last time I did it I went through the drive through again and drove the whole way home again, but the voice was like pretty much not even there. <laughs> wow, how does that make you feel? <laughs> Good. Yeah. So yeah, I was happy that just between those two times, it had gotten so, so much quieter. But now, yeah, I haven't done that again for another two weeks now, so. Wow. <clears throat> So what do you think changed? Um, yeah, I just think I'm learning that I don't listen to that voice. Um, and yeah, it is getting quieter. It's and not out of the ordinary for me to have a pleasant drive to work these days. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Well, I'm really proud of you. Do you feel Thank proud you. of me? Yes, I do. I do, especially when I, yeah, sometimes the thought of going somewhere like to the shops, like if you said that to me a couple of weeks ago, I just would have felt sick, like I just would have been feeling just so much dread about it, but now I'm like excited to do it. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah, let's do it, let's go to the shops, but yeah. Yeah. If you said that a few weeks ago, I just been like, nope, online, order online only. <laughs> and how do you feel about yourself now? You might remember in the start as well, I would just like say that I was stupid and be really annoyed with myself and disappointed. But yeah, now I have more understanding and compassion for myself, which I've learned is also a necessary part of healing. <laughs>
Yeah, yeah, beautiful. Uh, and I am. I'm really proud of you. Thank you. You know, I'm, I'm seeing so massive changes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. I'm so grateful for you and for all the help you've given me. Honestly, it's been yeah. So good. Oh. So good. <laughs> well, you know, thank you for trusting yourself, trusting the process and believing in yourself because none of this is possible without you trusting. Right. And that's a big thing for a lot of people. You know, it's mm -hmm. dropping that fear to trust something that they don't know anything about. <laughs> yeah, for sure. You know, but you know, the beautiful thing about it is that you want to change. Mm -hmm. You wanted something different, you had something had to change, something had to be different in your life. And there's certainly a lot of changes and there's certainly yeah. a difference, yeah. yeah. Definitely. Yeah. yeah, for sure. How did you find our sessions? Yeah, I've really loved it. It's been really helpful, obviously. You can see that as well, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Giving me tools on how to just get through the day, really. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And how did you find the online? Yeah, I prefer it. <laughs> <laughs> to I a lot of people saying that, yeah. Yeah, I do. I don't think, yeah, like I, I had been wanting to see a counsellor or, yeah, see a hypnotherapist for a while. And when I was searching them, like I found plenty in the area. Would you recommend? What, my service? Absolutely, yes, <laughs> absolutely. I'd recommend it to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I would, and I have. I've, I've told a few people about it, and mm. yeah, they've been very interested in mm. what we do and how it's helping, and yeah. Yeah, well, you've come a long way from when you very first called me. Um, I remember yeah. when you first called me, and, and you had you know, such a big challenge ahead of you. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you've overcome quite a large part of that. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. 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 It's beautiful. It's beautiful. All right, beautiful lady. Well, thank you again. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> thank thank you. you. All right. Bye. Bye. If you're experiencing any of these symptoms, please know it doesn't have to be this way. Book a call and discover your untapped potential and freedom to live your dream life.